Michael's taking off the grill right now so we can show, show and tell. Albert's on the task. They make sure that uh, stuff going on across the state road is, uh, is, is going according to rules and regs. Okay, buddies. Jumper. Okay. Good. So this is a 1950 Farmall C. And as you can tell, it's, it's complete, but it's kind of in rough shape. But I, I looked at this thing like three times. It came from the same place. I got the other C with the loader, and then I actually got another one. This is the third one. Like I said, I looked at it a few times. And all of a sudden, I happened to look back here at the axle housing. I noticed there was white paint here. Yeah. So then I got to looking at other places on it. Right. And then I looked at the serial number tag, and it was a demonstrator serial number. It was within the range. So then I was looking, and it has the T casting codes, which are 1950. That's what the T stands for. Uh, so like S would be 49, T's 1950, so on. So it says 123T, so that's early casting code 1950. You can tell there's more white paint here. So then I said to myself, well, it must be a demonstrator possibly. My buddy who I got it from didn't even know it was. So I ended up buying it from him for $150. It didn't have a wheel or tire on it over here, so I actually had to get this right yeah. away just to get it out of his right. backyard. Right. So, like I said, I bought it mainly because I figured it was a demonstrator. It's, mm -hmm. If it wasn't, I probably wouldn't put my time and money into it because it's kind of on the rough side but yeah but I mean for 150 bucks uh, right I, I wasn't worried about it right Oops. plus he let me take a set of wheel weights off of another part C had he let me just take them mm -hmm. so I figured the 150 I spent on this tractor I went towards the wheel right. weights so I consider this thing free okay now I, I just have a question about uh, them and the tractors are were they trying to make space or were they trying with uh, clean up or what or just stuff has been out uh his grandfather collected tractors uh -huh. he's mostly a john deere guy okay but he ended up with a few farm malls yep. his grandfather passed away back in january so he's selling off yes pretty much everything okay except for a select few tractors okay okay so because you know selling three at a time is is a pretty big deal yeah, so I was just curious. Yeah, so it's kind of funny. I went over there to get it, and it was at the bottom of a very steep hill. So I actually ended up going to get my brother's backhoe, and I picked the back end of the tractor up with his forks to put that wheel and tire on. Yeah. And then I went to drag it out of the hole it's been sitting in for probably 20 plus years, and this brake was locked up on it. Yeah. So there was. No chance I was going to move that thing around. Uh huh. Move this thing around with it. And uh, I was like, I'm not going to get it up that steep hill. I was kind of running out of options. It wasn't, it was kind of slimy down there. You know, it's springtime here, so the grass mm -hmm. is pretty wet. And so finally, I ended up picking the back end of it up. Once I pulled it out enough, I picked the back end of it up and I drove it up the hill. My buddy sat on the tractor and I drove it right up the hill and he was balancing on the two front tires in the front here and we're able right. to get it up into the front yard yep so it kind of worked out but i was kind of getting nervous didn't know how i was going to get it out of there yeah a locked up brake yep but since then we got it rolling got the brake freed up yeah and my uh my eye which is not the expert eye on these things but i did notice that we've got some different tire configurations up here right so when um, i got it the way you see it, this is the wheel and tire, the wheels rotted over mm. here. Yeah. And then this side looked like it had the original tire on it. It was yep. pretty much the same looking tread as this. Mm -hmm. 
and the wheel was so bad that the tire actually peeled right off the wheel. Mm. There wasn't much left to it. Right. So pretty much off the bat, I had to buy three tires and three wheels mm. just to move it around. Yep. So I already did one of those, but I got another one here to do. Right. There it is. I went with the original Firestone tire, same mm -hmm. looking tread as the yep. original. Cool. Um, but over here, if anyone wants Two. to see, the serial number is 48720. And for the demonstrator program, the serial number was 47010 to 51411. Yep. I believe that's what they say the acceptable serial numbers are so right figured that was a good sign and like i said the casting codes were good yeah and i was finding white paint on it in spots yeah like right here you could see yeah the touch control unit there's some white right. there i think i could see some right there there's a little bit of white on the brake yeah cover there obviously this is what yeah. i saw initially yeah and then uh Here's the good part I'll show you guys. I'll take the hood off. And the cap here, which the cap, is white. Yep. I took the grill off to clean the vines out from behind it. Mm -hmm. And I uh, noticed a lot more white paint that I know is original. But if you look under here. Yeah. Right. You can tell that's never been right. sprayed. Yep. So that was a pretty good sign. Sure. But I was surprised to see that, and the paint's actually still kind of glossy after all this time. But I thought that was kind of cool. And then, as you could tell, it's got paint, white paint on the valve cover here. Mm -hmm. If you look inside the fan shroud here, it's white. Uh, if you look up here, you can see more white paint. Might be hard to tell on camera, but there's a lot of evidence. There's, there's a, a lot, lot of evidence. evidence. Here's a bell in the inside of that crank. I can see white. Yep. The, the side of the head is. here has white paint showing through. Mm-hmm. Uh, the front of the gas tank here, you yep. can see. Until the red was over top of the white. Yeah. So, 99.9% .9 sure it was. Yeah. I'm gonna call it one. Yeah, let's call it. Let's call it. Tractors are real hard to find the demonstrators because not every tractor in that serial number range was painted white. Right. So just because you get one within that range doesn't mean you have one. Mm -hmm. Because the other C I have is a 1950 with a serial number that would be acceptable, and it's not a demonstrator. I know that for a fact. Right. Yep. So, like I said, just because you get one doesn't mean it is one. Sure. But basically, you got to find the white paint on them. Yeah. And you have to have a good serial number. Yep. So, yeah, that's pretty much the reason why I'm putting my time and money into this thing. Because mm -hmm. it's worth saving because they're pretty hard to find. Yeah. So, uh, you got rid of the other 50? I got rid of the 49. Okay, the 49. The Anderson loader that I took off. Yeah, they... He, the, what about the Henderson loader? You scrapped that, didn't you? Yeah. Yep. Yeah, it wasn't wasn't worth keeping around. So. Uh, so now I only have two of these. I got right. this one, and I got the other 1950C with right. the Right. So you got loader. two fifth two 1950s now. Correct. Yeah. Where was the guy from that uh, got the 49? Uh, he's from Easton. Oh, okay. Like two minutes from my friend's yep, house. Yep. Yep. He picked it up on his equipment, or you. I think he's it. gonna drive it to his house. Okay, yeah, he's so yeah. Close. He hasn't picked it up with Kate yet. yet. Right, that's right. But okay. Yeah, that thing was sold, so yeah. Focus my time and energy yep. and money into this thing. Yep. Unfortunately, the engine's locked up in it. In this yeah. This one, so mm. very locked up. I have to take the head off today and take a look in there. I don't know if it's gonna free up, but right. If not, it's no big deal. Just take it apart, and I want to restore this thing anyways. So mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Figured you could try free it up. If not, no big deal. Yeah. Yeah. The only downfall of this thing is, is 
when I initially looked at it, I see it has a water pump on it, which these tractors didn't come with. Thermosiphon was the... Right, it had a thermosiphon system on it. System, yeah. So, usually this, when you have a water pump, usually you have a 123 engine, which would come in a Super C, mm -hmm. or even a late C, but this isn't a late C, so I knew something was going on there, and then I figured maybe somebody added a water pump to it, which you can do. Then I was looking over here on this side, there's a little pad here that's supposed to give the engine serial number. Yeah. Usually the model of the tractor that the engine was for, and the mm -hmm. pad is blank. has nothing on it. Hmm. So I was Googling it, and pretty much what it sounds like is if you have a blank pad here like this, usually the engine's been replaced. Huh. Maybe this is just a, a theory, but being a demonstrator... Some some things occurred to it that wouldn't normally happen to a, a factory one just going out the door to a customer. So right for all I know, when this thing was just about brand new, someone was you know trying it out and they ended <laughs> up me. rolling it over or something stupid and they ended up breaking the block or I don't mm. I don't know what happened to it. Yeah, right. But it's kind of strange because it's still got the white valve cover, the white head. Yeah, yeah. The white timing cover on the front here. Yeah. It's got white on on the head. You just yeah. said that, okay? And yeah, and, it, just, and it has on the manifold. Right, manifold. Manifold. So they. So it's almost like if right. the engine they must have replaced just the block and they reused yeah. all their other. Or they components. had other demonstrator stuff around. Who knows? So it's kind of that's the only downfall yeah. of this is it really doesn't right. have the original engine. Block. It kind of adds a little bit of story to it, but we don't know what the story is. But yeah, at the I same time, it's not the yeah. end of the world right. because right. right. These tractors had a 113 mm -hmm. engine in them, and right. the big thing with the C's is they're not very powerful because yeah. it's the same power plant as an A. Yep. There's a lot more weight and tire to be turning, so kind of happy that it's a 123 because you mm. put an engine kit in it and turn it up to a 135. Yep. Actually, they call it a 133, but mm. it doesn't quite uh, turn out to be that big, but... Um, so it'll be kind of be nice to have that extra cubic inch and I yep. can have the head sent out to a machine shop, shave it, get a little more compression. Yeah. So it should make it a decent runner, so it's not the end of the world. No. But for a demonstrator, it's kind of nice to have as many correct components. Yeah. But I'm kind of happy that the rest of it seems to be all there. And the air cleaner intake pipe there is white inside. Yeah. Yeah, if you look inside there, there's white. Who's gonna, yeah, who's going to... Try to fake that. All that. And the other thing is, you know, people say, oh, they paint them white off. No, they, as old as this tractor and how long this, the tractor craze wasn't going on, people didn't care about yeah, taking right, the tractor right, apart right. and painting it white. Yeah, yeah, it demonstrated yeah. years ago. Yeah. No one cared until tractors right. became right. popular 20 years ago. Yep. And, yeah, a lot, of, a lot of times nowadays people will clone their tractors, even if they're not a 1950, they'll paint them white. You know, there's some people out there that are painting Farmall M's white and H's, and, you know, it's just, which is fine. If and, that's what you like right. and you're not and, trying to... Right. Um, Some people will try to pass them off as yeah. real That's real not good. And it's hard to know what a real right. demonstrator is. But the evidence is here and we... Right. Michael's... You know, he'd like to have a white... Here's... Yeah, there's another... Everywhere you look... I mean, who's going to do all this right. back in the day to make it look like a demonstrator? I yeah, mean, yeah. Nobody cared. No, I think you got a demonstrator. And, uh, I think you got not, you don't have to, you know, he's not like right. he's trying to flip it. Right, right. You know, you're, you're, there's no money in him. Yeah. You know, really. some people will say on the internet, oh, the demonstrator's a special tractor. You know, it's got different components and all it is is paint. It's, you know, some people will say, oh, yeah. look, look for an L, upside down L on this torque tube here. And, you know, that's a specific demonstrator thing. And, mm -hmm. I, I can tell you for a fact it's not because I, go, I could go out to all my other tractors here and they got Find the same on. stuff. Right. Right. They're not going to make special parts right. for you to. Right. What they did was paint it white to try to that make it make stand it out. Of yeah. That's that all would, it was. The sales in 1950 were going down, so they were trying yeah. to attract people with a bright white paint job. That was pretty much the whole point of it. Yeah, that would certainly would up your costs of the the line if yeah, you had. There's no reason to yeah. change tooling. Yeah. There's not a whole lot of information on the demonstrator program because nobody ever really cared about it. Cared about it. Yeah, and nowadays, you know, IH never kept track of all that stuff, so mm. it's kind of just people over the years figure out stuff. Yeah. So, 
like I said, it's not. What we do know is the serial number range. Yeah. And we know that it's early 1950. Yeah. And we know it's got a heck of a lot of old white paint on it. Exactly. So. And we take it for what it is. Yeah. And we know that they did the demonstrator program on the Cub, the Super A, and the C. They didn't right. do it on any other models. Yeah. So if anybody ever sees any for sale, make sure it's a Cub, a Super A, or a C. Cause oh, they didn't do them on H's and M's? No. Oh. No, that's all fake. Yeah. And, and then some people try to value these things as way higher than a normal C, but really they're not. At the end of the day, they're a little more valuable, but not more. Yeah, I, like value. I said, all it is, is paint. Yeah, and value is what people will pay. So if there is somebody out there that just has to have a demonstrator, they'll pay. But how many of those people are around? Right. So. Like I said, it took me three times going over there and looking at this tractor to realize what it was and I'm kind of happy I paid more attention to it because yeah. I was just going to scrap this thing. We don't like to scrap any of them. Matter of fact, there's another one over there. We should grab the tractor. What uh, year? Parts. It's Sorry. That's uh, 49 Okay. C. And we did get, take a few parts off it, but he, he could, Michael's the guy, you could take the whole tractor, which you should do. It's, unfortunately, it's a little funny over there to get to these things the way the prop the topography is over mm -hmm. there but I think it's worth taking the tractor I hate to yeah. see him crushed and picked up with a claw and yeah. dropped into a scrap how pile. complete is that 49 it's pretty I took like we said I took a couple parts off it for this one yeah. this tractor was missing the draw bar it was missing the starter and then this console here is rotted yeah from sitting around so I took the console and a yep. couple other parts off it, but right. And then he doesn't have a gas tank or a hood on it, but it was under a tarp, so yep. it's fairly complete. But it's you know, probably not worth getting going again. But it's mm -hmm. definitely a good parts tractor. I think it's a little too far gone. But. Yeah, you know, it just it depends on how many people want something because if enough people want it, they're, they'll 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 do it. But I, I don't know. And what's cool about this tractor, obviously, as you can tell, it's got this lift on it. Mm -hmm. Which I wasn't sure if it was either for cultivators and or for a two-way or two-bottom plow. But I'm pretty sure that you could do both with it. Yep. And he did include a two-bottom plow with the loader C that I bought from him. But I'm yep. pretty sure it was for this tractor because that other one doesn't have a lift on it. Right. But... This lift's pretty cool. Yeah. Uh, I can show you guys the two bottom plow. Yeah, maybe we should take a look at that. Sure. It's in pretty good shape. Before yeah, we, we uh, cut away here, before I forget, yeah, we can talk about that. Um, what is this little gearbox with the bearing sticking off it here? This little thing. Obviously, this is the PTO That's shaft, the PTO. And, and then this, you, would, you could put an optional belt pulley on it here. Okay. Take the spacer off and put a belt pulley yeah. on, so it's a, obviously a 90 degree gearbox. Yeah. But not all of them had belt pulleys, that was an option. And not all these things kind of swing, right? On the C's, they used this specific looking draw bar, and yeah. they all did swing. Okay. So, like I said, I did take this draw bar off of his parts C because this mm. tractor didn't have one, but yeah. it does now, so. Yeah. Yeah, it'll be a work in progress. Yep. I guess we're going to walk up and look at the other one. You know, I could show you guys the two bottom plow, but the other the, C is covered under a tarp. Yeah, so. and right, that would be on a separate video series, I think, too. Yeah. So we can go up and look at that it would plow. It would be nice to feature that one at one point. Yeah, we'll sure, sure. The um, funny thing is, Michael never sells a tractor, and he did get rid of the other C. Yeah. Which... You know, if you had the space, you probably would keep them all. Because you don't have a hundred of them. Right. Got Fifteen or sixteen. But um, and the, that other tractor was pretty dang good. I mean, it had fenders on it. You know, and it, it was in good shape. But yeah. You got two now, and deal with that. Didn't lose money on it, and it runs pretty good after doing a head on it. Come 
Come on, Albie. Good, Albie. I'm going to take him out, film from six feet back or so. I'll make sure Albie comes up with us. I think he will. You coming up, Albie? Come on. Had a lot of rain lately. Oh, man. I was thinking about doing a few things outside this week and it was kind of difficult. A lot of rain. Fluffy dog. There it is. So there's the two bottom plow yep. for a Farmall C or Super C yep. that I got. Part of the deal. I'm not 100% sure if it was on that tractor originally, but yep. like I said, it does have the lift for it. But you look at it and it's pretty massive, but yeah. By the time you put this part of it under the tractor, you don't have a whole lot of stick out. Mm -hmm. But all these holes here bolt up to the side of the tractor. I'm not 100% familiar with it, but. <coughs> and then you get your chain here. To lift up the plows. Yeah. Probably, obviously, by that rear lift. Yeah. That I was just showing you. That's right. These plows are pretty valuable. Anywhere from like four or five hundred dollars, maybe six hundred dollars, if you really want one. But it's in pretty good shape, and I'm happy to have it. Yeah. Not that I'll probably ever use it, but. I you never it. know. You may go to Kate's, and you know, she was plowing the field a couple years ago for the flower yeah. the field there. But. You never know. Yeah. Put it on. You might. But who knows? It was part of the deal with yep, the tractor. You got to take so. it. Yeah. Take it. Because. Sure. It's good iron. Right. If you got space, we do have a little space up here. Then yeah. These plows came in 14 and 16 inch blades. So I'm not sure if this is 14 or 16. Probably 14. Yeah. Those were the two options, supposedly, that I read about for a plow size. Yep. Pretty cool piece. Yeah. All right, I think that's for the walk around video, unless we have some other stuff to look at. Got an empty housing over there. We had to do Michael's rear end in this pickup. Yeah. <laughs> That's going to scrap soon. Yep. We were going to film that, but you were gone. And I was like, you know what? We got to get this uh, mm -hmm. rear end done in the truck. Yep. All right, cool. Let's go cut it off there and we'll dig into the dig in, then we'll mechanicals. Yep. Albert, 